Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm reviewing the brand new PNS Absolute Rinseless Wash. This is a newcomer in the rinseless wash world. Uh, heavily, heavily requested that I do the review by you guys, my viewers. So here it is. I'll be talking about the price, value, performance. We're going to do a quick demo. I'm going to show you how to dilute it, how to use it, what stuff you need to do the job. Uh, by the way, PNS did not copy any other formulas out there. They decided to work on this from the ground up. They worked on it for about a year. And in this video, by the way, I'll be showing you some stuff that you don't see on the other reviews about it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and also, I had a discussion with Dave Phillips, the chemist over at PNS, because I needed a few clarifications. So I'll be passing on all that info to you guys to help you make a better purchase decision. Uh, also, I'll be comparing the Absolute Rinseless Wash to two staples in the rinseless wash world. So the uh, McKees 37N914 Rinseless Wash, one of my current favorites, and also the the one probably that started it all in the rinseless wash world, Optimum Polymer Technologies uh, No Rinse, also known as ONR. So by the way guys, all the links to the tools, equipment and products that I talk about in this video, I'll drop those links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Also a quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, PNS didn't even send me the absolute rinseless wash, I ordered it myself online. Uh, and by the way, uh, I enjoyed this quite a bit, I'm already at my second bottle because I do uh, some thorough testing. been doing testing this for now uh, about a month. Uh, I also uh, gave out a lot of the uh, formula of the previous bottle to some friends that absolutely love rinseless washes. By the way, if you want to see a full tutorial on how a rinseless wash works from uh, beginning to end, I'll leave a link to my video in the description uh, so you guys can check it out and uh, basically see if it works for you. Uh, but again, a rinseless wash, use common sense. It's a good alternative for those who do not have access to free-flowing water. Uh, you can be an apartment dweller or a condo dweller or live in a city uh, or state with heavy water bans or heavy water restrictions or you just want to save water. So a rinseless wash is a good alternative. Now rinseless wash doesn't mean that you never rinse the vehicle, right? It only means that you don't need to rinse it at the end. So use common sense. Once again, if the vehicle is caked in a thick layer of dirt and mud, you're going to pre-rinse the vehicle first and then do the rinseless wash method. But if your vehicle is only lightly dirty and you maintain it often, a rinseless wash is a very safe alternative uh, because they have have polymer technologies that basically encapsulate, emulsify, lift the dirt off the surface so you can wipe it off gently uh, at the end and you're not going to scratch or mar your paint if you do it safely and efficiently as we'll see later on in the demo. So let's talk about the absolute rinseless wash first of all. So it is a polymer based technology uh, and you're going to see it is very very different. It's a bit thicker than what you're used to and I'm going to show you something uh, in a uh, quick little demo here and I'm, you're going to see what I mean about this. Uh, but first of all, they nailed the scent. It's a coconut lime scent, so fantastic. Uh, what about value? So this 32 ounce bottle retails for roughly $17.95 USD at the moment of this recording. So uh, we're November 2022. Of course, check the links again in the description for the most up-to-date pricing. And then you can also get it in a gallon size. The gallon is roughly 65 US dollars. So great value. It's in the less expensive side of the quality rinseless washes. So like PNS are known for their value, it continues with this. Uh, now you're typically going to use about three gallons of water. Uh, when you're doing a rinseless wash uh, method on your vehicle, of course, depending on the size of the car, but the average is roughly three gallons. So you'd be using one and a half ounces of this because the dilution is the classic standard 256 to one dilution, meaning half an ounce per gallon of water. So if you have three gallons of water in your wash bucket, you're gonna be using one and a half ounces. So for the 32 ounce version, using one and a half ounces uh, equates to roughly 21 washes that you get out of it. So 85 cents per wash, so very economical, uh, but it gets even better if you get the gallon size, that drops down to roughly 21 cents per wash. So the bigger sizes, obviously they're even more economical, hence why they're loved by professional detailers out there. Not only because they're areas where pro detailers, if they're mobile and they work outside, don't necessarily have access to water. So this is a good wash alternative, but is also uh, less expensive over time compared to a traditional shampoo. Now, where does it compare value-wise to the others? Uh, for the McKees 37N914, uh, if you get the 32 ounce, it's anywhere between $19.95 USD all the way up to $24.99 USD. Again, check the links for the pricing. And if you get the gallon size, anywhere from 60 to 70 uh, US dollars per gallon. And for the Optimum No Rinse, uh, it's pretty equal to the Absolute, so in the lesser expensive bracket. So we're talking about $17.95, once again, for a 32 ounce size 
areas like this. And if you get a gallon, roughly 63 to 65 US dollars per gallon. So it's on par with the price of the Absolute. So these are the less expensive, but top tier. All three of these, by the way, you can go wrong. They're very, very good at what they do. Uh, also notice up top here, I have a Pro Blend. This is a bottle, bottle proportioner, and it makes it very easy to calculate the amount you need. So with the ring, you turn it and this uh, diaphragm here goes up and down to where you need it. So for example, I set it to about an ounce. So what you do, you squeeze the bottle to whatever level you want and then it goes back down to exactly the amount you need. So here's an ounce, you open the cap and then you just drop that in your bucket. So uh, it's a pretty cool tool or you can use what I also often use for everything, a measuring cup. Or another thing they thought about over at PNS to make it even simpler if you don't have any measuring devices, uh, you can use the cap. So one capful on the 32 ounce is not quite half an ounce. So you'll do a generous capful if you want half an ounce. So if you have three gallons of water, three generous capfuls. So make it overflow a little bit, drop that in your water and you're, you're good to go. If you get the gallon size, the cap is exactly half an ounce on the gallon size uh, version. So there you go. What, what other features does it have? First of all, it has water softening technology in it which means when you drop it and you mix it in your water, well, it softens up the water. Hence, you're going to let get less chances of water spotting, especially if you're washing outside. So you can use this in direct sunlight. If you do though, do one paddle, one panel at a time uh, if you're doing it in direct sunlight just to be safe. Uh, and uh, obviously, like anything else in the detailing world, I always recommend to work in the shade on a cool surface or in a garage if possible. Uh, like I said, again, smells like coconut lime. Absolutely great scent. For the McKees, this smells like apples. And for the ONR, I call it chemical blueberries, but they all have great scents. So that's not an issue. Uh, the texture, these are more liquidy. So the ONR and the McKees. And again, this is a bit more, it's a thicker solution. But let me show you uh, what I had to ask Dave about, because when I was testing this initially, I noticed that the solution was kind of milky and clumpy. And a lot of people in the feedback that I got from viewers as well, or the uh, my friends to whom I gave a lot of this away to is they thought they did something wrong because it wouldn't dilute or dissolve properly in the solution. So let me show you what I mean. So I'll take the measuring cup here. I'll just put a little bit in the bottom, less than half an ounce. We don't need much for this, uh, for this demonstration. So I'm going to pour that in to the solution itself. First of all, so I don't know if you can tell on camera, you can probably tell you see all those clumps inside there that are around and up top it accumulates. So what you need is to gently stir it. So I asked Dave Phillips uh, about why it does this and why you get all those clumps. Gentle stirring, by the way, is the key. Uh, according to Dave. So if you have it in a larger bucket, you can use your uh, your hands obviously to mix it up. So you can see a bunch of stuff floating in there. So a lot of people thought that, oh, is it the, the chemistry that has gone wrong? Did I do the mix uh, improperly? What Dave explained is that the uh, solution is thicker. However, it is normal that you'll uh, get that kind of clumping inside there because basically the uh, polymers and the actives in the solution, they don't fully dissolve in water. What they do is they disperse in water. So contrary to these other two, which will dissolve fully and it has a homogeneous appearance, well, the uh, absolute was designed with the polymers and actives to disperse in instead of dissolving. Hence why you see all that uh, clumping, but it is normal. It is still perfect. You're still going to get the lubrication. You're still going to get the cleaning. What kind of dilution ratios can you expect? Of course, I wouldn't expect anything less from PNS. In the back here, in the instructions, they tell you how to use it. But basically, you get the standard 256 to 1 dilution, which we're used to for the others two as well. So you're not have to changing your technique. So 256 to 1 means half an ounce of this inside one gallon of water. Uh, uh, and you can use that for the rinseless wash. You can use that as a glass cleaner, an interior cleaner also, and as a drying aid if you want it. Uh, then you can move up to a dilution of 64 to 1 as a quick detailer. And it works great. I'll talk about this more later on, but it gives uh, a nice gloss to the paint at the end and uh, a good slickness also. Uh, and by the way, if you're looking for the slicker of all three products, as far as silky smooth finish, once you're done, this one here takes the cake. So it supersedes the McKees and the ONR for slickness left.
left on the paint. They all do a great job at leaving a bit of gloss, but for slickness, I noticed that it felt silkier to the touch or smoother. Uh, and so what other dilution? You can use it as a clay lubricant as well. So 128 to one dilution ratio. So basically this is a multi-use type of product. And by the way, as an interior uh, quick detailer or an interior quick cleaner, it works very well on all surfaces. Hey, by the way, leather, vinyl, uh, rubber, plastics, uh, regardless of what you have. But I really, really enjoyed this as a glass cleaner. Uh, I'm telling you, this is very good. Another plus that works for this is I have a ceramic coated vehicle. So it is important for me not to alter the hydrophobics too much when using something to either clean it or a topper or whatnot. I still wanna keep uh, the properties of my coating going. So this didn't leave any residue behind or did not alter the hydrophobic properties of my coating, which is very important. Uh, but at the end, it's its own drying aid. So you just have to dry and wipe using the uh, microfiber drying towel. But if you want some additional gloss and slickness, note that you can also use your drying aid on top that you can spray. And of course, you're looking for synergy or chemical compatibility. And PNS has, has thought of this. And in their lineup, uh, you can use their own products as additional drying aids. So uh, the classic right now the dream maker this is just a gloss enhancer so it has no protection but it leaves the surface super glossy so it's a gloss amplifier and you have their classic this is bead maker so it's a synthetic paint sealant but that can be applied on coatings on waxes on sealants gives you great gloss great slickness i know you're waiting for the demo so let's go ahead and jump into the demo i'll show you how to dilute it and how to use it all right guys for the demo super simple so my vehicle isn't too dirty i wash it uh, twice weekly so it's just maybe a bit of dust a bit of a little dirt on the lower parts of the vehicle so it's perfect candidate for the rinseless wash again always use common sense if you have a thick layer of dirt and mud uh, pre-rinse the vehicle first and then do the rinseless wash so what we're going to need we're going to need our wash media so in this case i'm using the rag company ultra black sponge uh, it is laser cut and it has all these dimples inside it to trap the dirt so this is very safe on the surface and it's ergonomic or you can use your traditional um, microfiber wash mitt this chenille wash mitt or whatever microfiber mitt you want basically the wash media that you traditionally use you can use with your rinseless wash uh, five gallon bucket inside there i have three gallons of water uh, ready to go so we are going to first put by the way at the bottom of your bucket always have a grit guard this is a grill as you can see and it keeps the dirt trapped in the bottom because you want all that dirt to stay in the bottom and not contaminate your wash solution so we're going to put the grit guard in the bottom there next so because i have three gallons of water inside the wash bucket i'm going to measure one and a half ounces of the absolute rinseless wash because don't forget the 256 to 1 dilution ratio means half an ounce of the absolute for every gallon of water. So in here, three gallons, one and a half ounces of the absolute rinseless wash. So you pour that in there with whatever measuring cup or device you want, or three generous capfuls of the absolute rinseless wash. And then you're going to simply take your hand, you're gonna twirl it around gently. So gentle mixing is key with this. As we said earlier on, so you're gonna disperse the rinseless wash evenly inside your solution. So there we go. Next, what I like to do, as you'll see, by the way, if you watch my full rinseless wash tutorial on my channel, again, the link to that is in the description under the video. I like to pre-spray the vehicle. So to pre-treat the surface with a bit of that rinseless wash solution, so it starts uh, encapsulating, lifting, emulsifying, all that uh, dirt and grime on the surface before I do the contact wash. So what I like to take is a Marilex pump sprayer. You can use an IK pump sprayer. You can use a regular trigger sprayer as you want. So now that the solution is already diluted inside the uh, bucket all you need to do is take your container you're going to dunk it in there and that's how you fill it up so a lot of people had the question how do i fill up my pump sprayer or trigger sprayer that's how you do it so it is very very simple we're going to close that up there we go and now we're going to pump it up so there we go now it's fully pressurized we're good to go. So we're gonna pre-spray the surface as a pre-treat. And then you're going to take your wash media. In this case, I'm gonna use the ultra black sponge. We're gonna dunk it in there, start moistening it up. So let's spray this. There we go. You can use it on the glass as well. 
So now that it's on the surface, it's already starting to do its thing. So you get some nice beading, obviously, because my car is ceramic coated. So if you have some protection, a wax, a sealant, uh, or a coating, you should see it nicely beat up. Uh, and you're gonna see it on the glass as well, how well this works. Now, the key is, with your wash media, you're gonna wring it out and get it to the point where it is just barely dripping. There you go, just like so, right? Maybe a little more. There you go. So barely dripping out. You don't want to come with it fully saturated. That's how we use rinseless washes. And then you are going to take your sponge or your wash. You can flip it around. Always work from top to bottom. So the same things apply as for the rest of your vehicle. Work with safe washing and drying methods. So that's all there is to it. You dunk it back into your solution. It's gonna release all that dirt and that grime and drop it down to the bottom of the bucket and you have that grit guard to prevent all that dirt from getting back into your clean wash solution. So then you are going to use a microfiber drying towel. Uh, always use microfiber, guys. This is as gentle as it gets for the paint. Forget those old synthetic uh, chamois. That's a thing of the past. So use a good quality microfiber drying towel. Uh, in this case, one of my favorite ones, you guys know, the Rag Company Gauntlet, which is fantastic. So it is nice, plush, and thick. So you simply start drying, and you can notice right away, when you're cleaning and when you're wiping, the surface will be very, very slick to the touch. And that is one thing that I really, really enjoyed about the Absolute Rinseless Wash. So there you go, you're drying your panel fully. Like I said before, if you had that extra drying aid, if you want bead maker or you want dream maker or things like that, you can use it. And that's all there is to it. And you get that, look at that. You're nothing, nothing but a slick surface and a rinseless wash will not scratch the surface. Let me grab my inspection light and we can inspect it up close. But if you use common sense, once again, you're probably not gonna be able to tell on camera, but this car now has been with me for a year and a half and it is absolutely flawless. There's nothing. When you're using safe washing or drying methods, in case in point, I'm gonna use this as I did in the past few weeks to clean my vehicle when it's only lightly dirty with this method, with the absolute rinse of wash, and no problem there. Wow. So, okay, what are the conclusions uh, that we can draw with this? Is it a game-changing product? You sometimes hear that, right, about the other products. Uh, I will conclude that no, it is not a game changer by any stretch of the imagination. However, what PNS did, this is their first iteration of a rinseless wash. It's the first time that they uh, come into this world. They worked on this product for a year and it can hang out with the boys, uh, the big boys in the industry. So the McKees 37 and 914 and the Optimum Polymer Technologies No Rinse or the ONR, no issues there. So they're top tier. This one here can fight with the best of them. So cleaning capabilities, uh, it's uh, probably a draw between all three. So the McKees, the ONR, and the Absolute, they all will do the job absolutely well. They all have good lubrication. Uh, as far as price and value, the McKees is the more expensive of the bunch, and the Absolute and ONR are the less expensive of the bunch. So if that's important for you, uh, well, it's a great purchase. For the scent, again, that's subjective. This is coconut lime. The McKees smells like apples and the ONR like chemical blueberry, so you decide what you prefer, but I absolutely love the scent of this. Uh, now, the another advantage that this one has over its competition is the way it leaves the paint feeling at the end, so that slickness that you're gonna feel to the touch, uh, this has an upper leg compared to the other two, so that's where I'd give, uh, this is where I was really impressed with this, is that feeling you get once you're done using this. Uh, they all leave a glossy surface, so I don't know what magic they put in there, uh, but you're gonna see this kind of gloss or sheen, so not as much, obviously, as something like a PNS Dream Maker or Bean Maker, uh, but a nice finish, so for maintenance, it's good. Uh, this also does not alter the hydrophobic properties of whatever protection you have on your surface currently, so if that's important for you, I know it is for me, uh, that is great. This is just a pure cleaner, uh, so overall, just a great experience, guys. Uh, if you already have either the McKees or the O R, you need to run out and purchase this? Absolutely not. But when you run out of them, or if you're just looking for an alternative to the rinseless wash for whatever reason, I would definitely highly recommend that you look into the uh, PNS Absolute Rinseless Wash. Once again, I'll leave the links to all the tools, products, and equipment 
that I showed in this video in the description under the video. Uh, if you want to have a deeper dive on how we do a rinseless wash and why we do a rinseless wash, I'll leave a link to my tutorial as well. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, share the video with friends and family that might benefit from the information that you learned about today. Uh, also, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps uh, support the channel and uh, tell the algorithm that you guys like my video so they can hopefully get suggested to more people on YouTube. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.